get ready to learn how to create 50 posts in five minutes. In this video, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step process that's very simple and easy to use that will give you 50 social media posts that will be easy and simple to do. Hi, I'm Maggie Carey. I'm a social media strategist. On this channel, you can find tips and tricks on how to make the most out of social media and do your social media faster so that you can get back to doing the things that you love. So on today's episode, I'm going to share with you how you can create 50 posts in five minutes. Are you ready? We're going to use a couple of tools in order to do this. So the first tool we're going to use is going to be chat GPT. When you go into chat GPT, I'm going to ask it for quotes. I want to make it a little bit specific. So I'm going to say, imagine you are a social media strategist. Insert your own industry here and give me 50 inspirational quotes. Now, when I do that, it's going to go through and it's going to give me a whole bunch of inspirational posts. Since it's going to go through. You can see, bloop, bloop, bloop. There's 50. All right. As simple as that. Now I could have fun with this and I could say, um, make them all from women. In ChatGPT, you just need to be a little bit more specific with what you want. If you were going to say something like, give me 50 inspirational quotes. Maybe it's 50 tips. Maybe it's, you know, and I'm saying 50, you could do five, you could do 10, whatever floats your boat. In this way, you can create content easily. With tips, keep in mind, chat GPT goes only until 2021. So you're not going to get like the current, current things, but you will get tips. Now that I have all of those inspirational quotes, what I'm gonna do is I need to take them and copy them. I'm gonna just hit, you can right click and hit copy. The next thing you're gonna do is go into your Google Drive, hit new, hit sheets. Now you could also do this in Excel. And what I'm gonna do is paste it. You need to create what's called a CSV file, a comma separated value file. So I'm gonna right click here. And I'm going to paste. I could also do edit paste. And you can see all the files come in here. Of course, you want to name it. And then I'm going to file and I'm going to download and I'm going to make it an CSV file. Okay. So now I've downloaded that file. I am next going to go into my favorite tool, Canva. And what I'm going to do in Canva is I'm going to create a square Instagram post. Canva has this tool that you can use that can take that CSV file and it can import it in and create different posts for you. It's very cool. I want to show you how this works. It's a three-step process to do this. It is insanely powerful. You're going to first pick a template. You can go into design and you can do something like search for quote and find a template that you like. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to tell you why for a couple of reasons. One, it's got the quote dead center. It's got a, a nice background and it doesn't have any of these other elements like you see in here. It's got a box and it's got this other stuff and that's going to be important and you'll see why in a few minutes. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the style. I want to edit it a bit. I may want to add a uh, master it media down here. You would put your own business if you want. I can delete that. I can whatever, but look at the format of the graphic. And then I'm going to search on the left-hand side. See this apps. I'm going to click on apps and then I'm going to search apps for something called bulk create. And there's bulk create. And you can see here, step one, step two, step three, we're going to follow right along. The first thing I'm going to do, upload this CSV file. I'm going to select the CSV file that I downloaded. And when I do that, it is going to give me the next step, step two. Step two is to connect your data element. To your element. So what's the element? Well, the element is going to be the quote. So what's going to happen is this quote is going to be connected to this data. So when I right click 
on it following these instructions and hit connect data, I then select that text. And you can see it pops in here. Now, remember what I said about be careful about which one you pick, this is the reason why. You can see here now some of the quotes we had were long. So what I wanna do is I wanna move this up. I'm gonna extend this so that it's wider here. I may also want to shrink the fonts. Now, what I'm doing here, if, if you're not familiar, is I'm using these side panels. I can use this, that also makes the text bigger and smaller. So I can do something like that and notice this purple line in the center that centers it. Now I've got this template. That's step two. Step three is continue. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to apply my data and it's going to go through and it's going to select every single quote and input it into a page. And it's going to take the next quote and input it into a page and the next quote and input it into a page. So as you can see, it has imported in all of my quotes. I'm done. Do, do, do. I can do one, two, three, and I'm set. So I created my content in chat GPT. I then copied it into an Excel or a Google sheet, and I downloaded it as a CSV comma separated value file. Then I went into Canva. I selected a template, and then I used the bulk create app in order to grab the content from the CSV file and import it into 50 different social media posts. Now that I've done that, you have to keep in mind, it's going to take a little tweaking. I'm going to give you a little bit of Canva tips. In here, I can, I can say, oh, okay, so that one that looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. And I'm going to scroll down. This one doesn't because it's longer. And you can see if I move this up. Oh my gosh, that took two seconds. <laughs> All right. So that's one way of doing it. But as you can see, this would, if this filled your feed, this would get really boring really fast. So here's an idea for you. So I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to go on the left hand side. And I'm going to go into photos. And in photos, I can search for things like purple background. Because let's be honest, guys, that's my color, right? We know that. So when I go in here, I am then I can then just go in and drag and drop different backgrounds. And now here's something to be aware of. Say I go lighter with a lighter color, see that makes it lighter. Well, I could just go in here and change it to dark purple and just select what I want to select, go into my brand kit. And now I've got that and it's dark. Now you're getting all of these different looks and feels for your quotes. The next step, of course, is to publish them. Now you have to take the posts and put them in your social media. So an easy way to do that is with a tool called Painless Posting. And just to show you a little bit of what it can do, it can publish across multiple platforms. I can do an auto import. I can connect, a, so I could take all of my graphics, download them into a Google Drive. And what I can do is take this and, and I'm just gonna say quotes here. And I'm going to select my Google Drive. I'm going to select my account that I have. I do a connection to it. And then the folder I'm going to select is my social media. I can make it require approval, which is always a good thing to do. Um, and post new content as it's added. And then what I can do is select what accounts I want. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google, Twitter, TikTok. You can do this for video. You can do it for all of those. I'm going to hit next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all. Now I only did five for the sake of time, but I'm going to import those right into my system. And what's going to happen is I can then go look into my content library and there they are. That simple and that easy. That simple and that easy. And you have your social media content and there's your process. Was that simple? If it was, give us that thumbs up subscribe to our channel and check out this video that's going to give you a little bit more help on how to create social media for your business 
with less time and less stress.